Well, Andrew, investigators say this is something he had done before. He actually lied. He would con people, not tell them who he really was, make his way into situations where he could be around children who had no idea they were around a sex offender. I've been bullying myself. Police say the man behind the lens here, not those you are seeing in these images, conned his way into this anti-bullying assembly, putting himself inside Grandview Upper Elementary feet from children that he is not allowed anywhere near because that man Brandon Carter is a convicted sex offender. Police say he used a fake name Kaylin Carter to get inside the school to videotape the assembly and Pittsburgh rapper Jordan York. School solicitor Ira Weiss says Carter claimed he didn't have his ID because he knew his criminal record would pop up when the school ran his background check and a school employee let him slide. It's been re-emphasized to the staff that these policies are in place for a reason and they need to be followed. Weiss says that employee may be disciplined as well. A representative for Jordan York tells me that Brandon Carter lied to them as well, calling himself Kalen. The CEO of Nightfall Records writes, we were shocked to learn that Kalen Carter was really Brandon Carter adding that they are cooperating with the school district and police. Police say Carter, though, made a living videotaping kids he was not allowed near, shooting midget football teams, school photos, and he was advertising a search for kids to participate in commercials. As a result of this violation and for not registering as a convicted sex offender in the proper address, Brandon Carter is now here in the Allegheny County Jail. Reporting live, Marcy Cipriani, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. Marcy, 